but I'm looking forward to talking presidential odds with you here as All we've right. got you live. And once again, you can follow Dave on Twitter, as you mentioned, on X at Dave Mason B O L for Bet Online at Dave Mason B O L. And you know, Trump was at as about as high as about 68 percent. I look at the all overall international markets, you know, all the markets combined, and I saw this high as about 68 percent after the uh, convention last month. And as of yesterday, when I checked, he's below 50 percent now. Uh, Kamala Harris is actually a slight favorite in a lot of spots. Um, your thoughts on this? Obviously, this week, the convention uh, coming up next week is probably not going to change that much unless she falls apart next Friday and they let her speak too right. long. But um, what are you guys doing with this? I mean, if that's a substantial move, is there some middling involved and just your thoughts on this huge move in a month? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's she's the hot ticket. You know, first of all, I want to I want to preface this by saying that I don't. I don't like politics personally. <laughs> I, you know, I don't take a pit. I just got to say this because on Twitter, people like I'll tweet something about like Trump's odds going well, and people, oh, you're you're a you're a conservative, and I'll do it. Okay, Kamala's odds are, and oh, you're you're a liberal, and it's like, dude, I'm just I'm just tweeting the the damn odds. You know, I might have a little funny comment there, but that's all I'm doing. So, I mean, the way I think about politics, again, I hate politics. I, I hate politics, but I like the competition and it gets so much action. I, I, I learn more about politics just by watching, you know, the line markets and the odds markets and paying attention to what's going on than I ever did in any high school or college class. I'll tell you that much. But I look at, you have to look at it objectively. I mean, it's whether it's a sporting team, you know, I'm a Philly, Philadelphia Eagles fan. So, of course, I hate the Dallas Cowboys. But I, I am also objective too, being some someone knowing about the odds and stuff. Where I know my team's weaknesses, I know the Cowboys do have some strengths. But you know, you talk to a lot of people. Oh, Dallas sucks. The Eagles are the best. It's the same thing with politics. You can't just say Trump's perfect and Kamala's horrible, or Kamala's perfect and Trump's horrible. I mean, that's what you have going on here. I mean, I think a lot of people on the Trump side now, you know, the fans supporters they don't they see these odds going up and they don't understand why and it's like i look at objectively you know i i get kamala's warts um i i get her warts that being said you know what has she been she's the hot ticket now she's a new thing they got rid of the old guy and she's the new the new the, the new breed they're going out there with energy could it be all BS? It could be BS. It's politics. But you have to pay attention to that stuff. You also have to learn that a lot of people really aren't informed. You know what I mean? Whether they're on the right or they're left, they're they're going to be voting or betting on the hot new ticket. So it's hard to judge, man. I mean, she, she's she's going, she's doing a lot better in the polls than Trump right now. Um, so it's trending that way. So are the odds. I mean, we just moved her from minus 130 this morning to minus 135. And, and you know, we need Trump. We need Trump big right now. Um, she, she's, she was getting bet early, and she's still getting – now it's kind of evened out now. Now we got the odds where, where it's kind of getting even action here. But, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, convention will be interesting next week. I, I think she'll become even more of a favorite because it will be scripted. She's not going to have to answer tough questions there. There's going to be a lot of energy um again she's the hot new thing you know now that biden's out of the way so i think it could go higher after the convention and then uh then go from there and see what happens if once she's doing you know if she's doing some interviews unscripted interviews and uh the debate of course which or debates which could be interesting altogether teddy's muted here we've got just trying minutes to get left with gabe mason <laughs> sorry uh, here uh, uh, on the way to talk today, you can find him, of course, at Bet Online AG. You can follow him on Twitter at Dave Mason B O L. And Dave, one of the things that I thought I, I love following you on Twitter because you have funny stuff for the politics. And one of the things that, that I, was, I was watching a thread where, you were, where the odds were basically even, and you're like, we've had the odds here for 24 hours, and we haven't got you know the biggest bet we've taken is fifty dollars this way and five hundred the other way. Are people right. not betting the politics as much now because you expect a better line somewhere down the regardless of which candidate you support? Do they expect yeah, a better I, line somewhere down the road? Right, I, I don't think so. I mean, we we were taking massive uh, bets, and I you know just the last few days with the line movements, it's kind of and I just checked this morning with the other line movements, kind of uh, the big bets have kind of ceased. So I don't know if everybody think that number is too sharp. Or people are waiting or whatever. You know, I like you said, I kind of have fun on Twitter. You know, everybody's telling me Kamala has no shot. 
Trump has no shot. Okay, well, our limits are ten thousand dollars. They have no shot. Let's put our money where their mouth is, or it's definitely rigged. All right, then bet the rigged side. You know, whether you're betting boxing or whatever sport you think is rigged, or find out what the rigged side and bet and, and, and bet on it, and and uh, tell me how that works out in the long run. So, so yeah, I mean, the last couple of days, last few days, that the, the, we haven't seen a lot of big bets come in, but we have a ton of big bets before that that came in. So I was kind of trying to figure that out too, Teddy, this morning, whether people just think that line's too sharp or maybe they're waiting till next week or, or what's going on. But everybody tells me on Twitter, which side is definitely going to win though. So, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll see Twitter's they, never wrong. But, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, it is fascinating. I'll never forget in 2016, Dave, you know, Trump going in that morning, I think was at about 14 or 16 percent. And then about seven o'clock Eastern that night, I'm watching the international markets move. And all of a sudden he's at 40, 50, 60 percent. And I knew something was happening that the media was unaware of. And it always cracks me up how the media is much later getting that information right. All they need to do, like you said, is look at the betting markets live. And um, same thing in 2020. I went to bed. Trump was maybe what was 70 percent or so. I look at four or five a.m. He's at thirty percent. So it's like you knew something had happened overnight in twenty twenty as well when things shifted. Um, Bet online, just a great international book, offshore book, leading indicator book, and you do a great job there. I have to tell you, on the way out, the best political betting odds I see right now on your site: Kamala Harris special next press conference minus a dollar <laughs> fifteen before September tenth. Come on, man! She's got to have a press conference before she September tenth, right? right? I agree. That looks pretty man. good I to agree. me. Yeah, but uh, you know, I, I think I, it's, it's some of her press conferences. You know, that that's the thing on the scripted stuff right now. The rah rah stuff, she looks good. She looks good. But uh, once it comes to these tough questions, you know, we'll we'll see. But uh, it's going to be interesting, man. It makes politics fun. Make make politics fun again. Bet on them. That's my slogan. Yeah, I said if you want to increase voter turnout, make it legal in every state to bet on politics, Absolutely. and then we'll get voter turnout up. That's what I've said for there years. Dave, let everybody else know what you got going on at Bet Online. <laughs> Yeah, man, football season is here. Come on over to come on over to betonline.ag. We got some good sign up bonuses. We have some of the earliest odds in the industry, so we uh, set the market. We originate for both college football and NFL um, contests. Contests are a big thing. Three hundred thousand dollars survivor pool. It's only thirty dollars to enter. If we collect over thirty three hundred thousand dollars, we keep to add into the pot. So there's zero rake. I think last year it was worth. Four hundred twenty-one thousand dollars and change. We have a two hundred thousand uh, dollar pick'em contest that's free to enter. So once again, come on over to BetOnline.ag, and you can follow Dave once again on Twitter on X at Dave Mason B O 